assume that this is a beacon or camera that slid inside some empty partial pipe, whether it be sewer, water, or some other conduit. And basically the little red orange be beacon here that you see here, red beacon, is basically an indication of that sign or camera which is emitting a 512 hertz transmitted signal from the position of this device. The receiver, you will turn on your receiver hitting the on button momentarily until you get a number display. The number that you're seeing here is referred to as the signal strength and will rise and fall when you get close to the beacon. The tone or the audio coincides with the signal strength number so both will rise and fall together. The orientation of the receiver is very important. As I demonstrate now, as I turn the axis of the arrowhead tip antenna and put it in line with the beacon's orientation in the pipe, you'll notice that the signal strength increases when you're in line with the same orientation of the sun or the camera in the pipeline. If you rotate it out of alignment, the signal strength will drop down. Let me demonstrate how you sweep for this peak beacon or camera inside of a pipeline above open ground. Notice when I'm in line with the pipe that the beacon or camera's in, I hear a larger tone and a larger signal strength when I'm in directly in line with it. When I'm not in line, my signal strength drops and reduces along with the tone. At the point that you hear the largest sound or the largest signal number that is displayed, it gives you a perspective that you're in line with the pipe or that camera or beacon inside the pipe. You can confirm this by rotating your instrument 90 degrees and at the point that you get the lowest signal or the null, N-U-L-L, -L, and that coincides with the rotation back 90 degrees with the highest peak, it confirms the axis of where this beacon or camera is positioned at. Listen to the null in the axis of where the beacon is in the pipe. To pinpoint now, to find out the exact position, you can go back to where you're in line with the highest signal strength or the highest peak, and move the instrument up and down this axis to find out which direction 180 degrees this way or 180 degrees this way this beacon is. Notice that as if I pull away from the beacon, the signal strength goes less. Eventually it will become no value at all the farther you get away. If it is increasing in tone and signal strength, you are approaching the beacon in this orientation. So you just follow it at this point, to get precision, you will adjust your sensitivity, your up and arrow buttons. When you do this, the signal strength relationship will give you a bar graph. The lower you lower, hit the down arrow button, the less sensitivity you're using. Now, this will help me pinpoint the sans position within the pipe more accurately by keeping my sensitivity low. Notice that the peak is going up again when I am directly over and in line with the beacon. I'm getting even more precision by lowering the sensitivity even further. To demonstrate 
determine the depth of where the beacon or camera is positioned at the transmitter within the camera. I need to be square or in line with the arrowhead tips with the beacon. Notice this if I take the instrument out of square with the arrowhead tips, we go back to a null. In order to get a depth reading out of the instrument, you would want to be in this orientation where you got the highest peak directly over it. At this point, you confirm your highest number, which would be direct in line with the orientation of the beacon, and then you hit your depth button. The instrument will revert the feet in inches. The maximum value on this would be 1911 or 19 feet 11 inches. In this example, we are showing that there are 9 inches below the tip of the sensors. So 9 inches below this point. That's how you demonstrate to find a beacon.